Hello. So today I'm going to make chili oil. Uh, this is chili crisp, chili oil. It is something that I've played with a little bit in the past, but I haven't had all the right ingredients. Uh, this is with Szechuan peppercorn, uh, various chilies here in Mexico, garlic, leeks, uh, onions, sesame seeds. Now for purists, I'm still missing a couple ingredients. Uh, I do not have star anise. Uh, I'm not using cinnamon. I'm not using bay leaf. Uh, I don't have any cardamom pods. Um, there's gonna be variations of this per region in China. Um, it's like I don't have the, uh, the purified canola oil as well. Uh, but you have uh, variations of this in other countries as well. In Greece, here in Mexico, in Veracruz, you have a version of this. Just do the best you can and make it your own with the spices you have available. So leave a comment down below if you've tried this or if you have any suggestions. Now I'm going to use three different dried peppers uh, that I can find here in Mexico. Arbol pepper, chili pasilla. This is guajillo. And I'm going to bloom these in the wok with some oil and that will flavor the oil. Uh, then these will be cut up and then put into a bowl. Um, or rather, these, the dry spices here will. Uh, with, this is Szechuan peppercorn. And that I have shipped in, so I'll put that in there as well. So the first thing I'm going to do is cut up an onion, some garlic, and I have a leek that I'm going to cut up. And I'm going to use that to season the initial part of the oil. Couple of different uh, websites that will have chili oil recipes. Uh, one I saw that was interesting was they would hydrate the peppers so it didn't burn when you put it in the oil. This is chili arbol. chili pepper. And this 
this is dried garlic chunks. So I have a layered bit here, so dried garlic. Sesame seed. And for color, we're going to use goju gum. Forgot the leak. Kind of scattered right now. I have been writing for a couple months now, and I'm on a break where I'm uh, contemplating my edits, what I want to do, where I want the story to go. And so I haven't been in a cooking mood. I haven't been in an editing mood. I haven't been in anything. I've just been fixing food that is quick and simple that I didn't have to think about. Um, I don't know. I go through phases like this. So for this one, it's been um, a solid month almost uh, since I stopped writing and I've just been sort of vegging and I need to get out of it. So that's why I'm filming the video today. Alright, so I want to hydrate this just a bit. Not much, you just want a little bit of water in there. This is what's going to boil off. As it boils off, it will create your color and all the other good stuff there. It smells incredible, so that's a good sign at least. All right, let's see if we can get this on film here. So this has a little bit of water in the bottom, and so it has a little bit of moisture to it. And that will be what boils off. It doesn't burn us. It'll burn the, the chilies and make them bitter.
You're supposed to do three pours. I went a little bit too heavy in the first one. So we'll let this sit. Right off the bat, it's getting a nice color to it. The smell again is incredible. Beautiful color. Everything's gorgeous. Oh, it smells incredible. I keep repeating myself. Apologies. Um, you can strain out the chunky bits. Uh, and just make a clear oil out of this. Um, this is really not about the heat so much. It's just the fragrance, the, the flavor. Uh, it has a little bit of spice to it, but not what you would think for the amount of chilies you have in it. Now, the Szechuan pepper will have a numbing quality uh, as you eat it. Uh, that'll still re retain itself. Even if you filter the chunky bits out, it'll still be there. This will hold up about six months. In the refrigerator. I do not see this lasting that long. But you can also just store it on the shelf because everything's been cooked by the oil. So are these are going to go in the fridge. This tastes absolutely amazing. Mm. So incredible. It's floral, it's floral, it's beautiful. It has a bite to it, it has the numbingness. <laughs> 